record. Just good evening, everyone. This is Shweta Rao from City of Fort Worth, and uh, we are here today for the public meeting for Wilbarga Street Improvement uh, for sidewalks from Mitchell Boulevard to Vaughan Boulevard. The project number is one zero four seven six one, and the project is in Council District Eight M Eleven. I'm Shweta Rao. I'm, I'll be the project manager on this project. And with me, I have today Chad Allen. He is our engineering manager. Uh, Laura Ingram, she is our communications specialist. And with Kevin, we have Rachel. Rachel, do you want to introduce yourself? Sure, happy to. This is Rachel Ariano. I'm a new district director in the office of Councilwoman Janet Martinez. This does cover District 11, as Shweta mentioned. So happy to listen in, hear any concerns and comments on this meeting, and our office is here to serve um, the residents of District 11 and hear um, any comments from our constituents. Thank you so much. Happy to have you all on, and thank you, um, City of Fort Worth team, for being on tonight. Thank you. Rachel. We also have our project sponsors, uh, Marisa Conlin and Chelsea St. Louis with us today. And our design engineers are GEI consultants. We also have our design team with us, James Allen and Pat Hayden. Go over a brief agenda in our meeting today uh, to cover the project background, the location of the project, project schedule, and usually some frequently asked questions for the sidewalk project and the project contact information. Going to the project background, uh, as a part of this project, we would be uh, improving pedestrian mobility by installing sidewalks and ADA ramps uh, along Will Parker from Mitchell Boulevard to Vaughan Boulevard. And this will be on both sides of Will Parker, both north and south. And we will also be including sidewalk on Ford Street from Will Parker to Childress. The existing sidewalk in some of these locations would be left undisturbed unless it has some cracks in it then we would go ahead and replace it and so it goes with the driveways too if the driveways existing driveways are ada compliant that means they have like at least four feet of walking surface we will leave it in place if not then we would have to redo the driveways uh, this project would improve safety and access uh, for pedestrians to access the schools the churches that are on will Barker, and also some public transit stops the project is funded by 2022 bond program funds. This map shows the location of the project that we are referring to. It's on Will Barger from Vaughan Boulevard to Mitchell. It's right south of 287. This shows uh, the location map in detail where we will be installing our sidewalk on both sides of Will Barger. Uh, from Mitchell to Vaughan and also on Ford from Will Barger to Childress. And that would be on the west side of the street. So we would be approximately installing 9,500 feet, a linear feet of sidewalk as a part of this project. Coming to project schedule, we are currently under design and um, we, we, are, we are estimating to start construction in summer of 2025. The duration for construction would be six months, and the current estimate for construction is 1.6 million. Coming to some frequently asked questions about the sidewalk projects that we usually get in these public, public meetings. First one is what would be a typical width of sidewalk? So city standard is to do a five feet sidewalk when it is detached from a curb or do it as a six feet sidewalk when it is right back to the back of curb. But uh, there are locations on Will Barger where we have some mature trees. So just in case to preserve those trees, we will, we will be reducing our sidewalk width to four feet uh, so that we can keep the trees in place. Next question is, will we be impacting any driveways as part of this project? And if so, uh, will the property owner have access to their property? So we might be impacting some of the drivers just to reconstruct them to meet the ADA requirements. Uh, and in that case, the property owner would still have access to their property at all the time. So we will be doing it uh, as a partial reconstruction. So the property owner can still access their driveway at all times. The next question is, will any existing trees be removed? So city, 
cities team along with the engineer worked the site twice, and we also worked the site with our city arborist just to make sure um, if we can keep the trees in place. So uh, city would do their best to keep the trees in place as they are. Uh, but there are some locations where they are in conflict with our sidewalk alignment and we might have to remove them. So this slide shows the properties that we are proposing the trees to be removed. And um, we will be contacting all these property owners personally to meet uh, with them before we finalize our plans on tree removals. Will traffic lanes be temporarily closed or detoured? Uh, we don't anticipate any detours or street closures. Uh, our contractor would be working with the street open uh, and just the lane, uh, the right side lane would be partially closed. But other than that, we don't anticipate any details. Will the existing irrigation system or grass be impacted as part of this project? So if there is any existing irrigation system or sod on that location that we are impacting as part of our project, our contractor would make sure to relocate that irrigation system to back of sidewalk and also uh, put back the sod as it was uh, before construction. So city would be making sure that uh, we will be leaving the place in better condition than it was before. The next question is, will the construction materials and equipment be left on site during construction? Our contractor might have some materials that he might be leaving on site during construction, but the contractor will be cleaning out the site every day before the end of day's work. So this is my contact information. Again, I'm Shweta Rao, project manager on this project, and here's my phone number and email ID. And also, uh, James Allen is our design engineer with GEI consultants, and here's his phone number and email ID too. This slide is for any future projects that you want to see as part of City of Fort Worth's improvement. So you could request any projects or an, uh, if you have any concerns, you can reach out to City of Fort Worth using my Fort Worth app for both Apple and Google, or you could text hello to 817-835-6939, or you could call the city call center at 817-392-1234. That is all we had for this presentation today. This presentation would be recorded and will be posted on city's website along with the presentation. So if you have any questions, we'll go ahead and take them. Uh, Petrina, do you have any question? All right, hello everyone. So um, just curious about how this segment of Will Barker was determined. I think it's a good thing. Um, but what I'm getting at is there are other segments of Will Barker going east that also either do not have sidewalks or have partial sidewalks. So how do we uh, move forward with getting attention to those other segments of Will Barker? And I'm specifically speaking of going east by that Miller um, Will Barker intersection. It does have some new sidewalks as part of that project in there, but then it stops. Um, and then when you start proceeding eastward toward Village Creek Park, Eugene McCray, those areas are either, they do not have sidewalks or it's just sporadic. So Petrina, I think we have received a request to install sidewalk, uh, sidewalk on Will Barker along the location that you're mentioning. And me and Marisa, we spoke about it a few days ago. Uh, Marisa and Chelsea, do you want to update us on uh, if there's been any movement on that project? Oh, hi everyone, it's Marisa. Can you hear me all right? Yes. Perfect. Yeah, so we have been evaluating the section on Will Barger between Miller and Village Creek Road. Um, and we've been considering that one. Um, so for right now, what we've done is we have evaluated it and it is on our list of potential projects for the next bond location. But again, this is only on a potential list. It is not, it has not been made a determination to move forward. This is Chelsea, um, Petrina. I'll just um, address your initial question about how this um, segment was selected. 
So uh, probably about two or three years ago, um, the Glen Park Neighborhood Association was just um, ramping up. And uh, so we had start, started communicating with the Neighborhood Association about needs in their neighborhood. Um, around that same time, we uh, began our annual sidewalk uh, implementation program uh, to fill sidewalk gaps prioritized in the active transportation plan. And so um, through working with uh, that neighborhood and identifying some of the sidewalk locations that were particularly um, um, priorities for the neighborhood, uh, Woolbarger emerged as one of those priorities. However, that wasn't a sidewalk that we could complete um, in our annual PAYGO program, you know, based on all of the factors that Shweta talked about in her presentation. And so um, at that time, we were developing the 2022 bond program. And so um, at that time, you know, we put this list, uh, a list together of um, all of the requests we received over the time we've had the sidewalk program um, and looked at those that we weren't able to complete due to utility right of way issues, um, driveway issues, et cetera. And um, because of the high ranking of Will Barger in the active transportation plan, as well as it being a neighborhood priority, that's how. Um, this location was selected, and we had also done some sidewalks, I believe, on Mitchell Boulevard and Will Barger, specifically for safe routes to transit. Um, and so we were focused on making those connections uh, to transit as well, as well as the school uh, up at Oakland Elementary. Okay, thank you. Okay, and just uh, another, I guess, question or comment. This is close to Glen Crest Civic League. Were they notified about this meeting? They seem to be pretty active and things going on in and around their neighborhood. Yes, we sent the mailers out and uh, they might have received it like two weeks before this meeting um, to a quarter mile radius along this corridor. All righty. Thank you, Shweta. This is Laura. I'm not seeing any questions in the chat. So we'll go ahead and end the meeting. Thank you everyone for joining the meeting this evening. All right, thank you. Goodbye. Thanks, Shweta. Great job.